Yo, what is good everyone? So today I'm gonna show you how to make this super simple project where you can get information from YouTube and essentially filter out YouTube videos based off a keyword. And then you can also see I have right there, the keywords right there for these titles. And then I have the views, the likes and the dislikes. And there's a much more things that you can actually filter out on their API if you wanted to add additional things. But for this example, I just made it super simple and basic. So let me actually show you how I created this. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is head over to your Gmail account. We're actually gonna be doing all of the coding on our browser. So here I am on Google Drive. So pretty much if you're signed into multiple Gmail accounts, you have to choose the one that is essentially the first one that you logged into. So if you have, let's say, five different Gmail accounts, right? Number one is whatever your main one is. You have to utilize that one or else it's gonna run some errors. So you can also log in on incognito and then just sign in with whatever email you wanna use. If it's not your main one already logged in, that also works too. But pretty much once you navigate over here, you will most likely need to navigate to this option if you're not already and go to your drive. So pretty much click here, click on drive, and then just go here to new and click on Google Sheets. So here I have a brand new Google Sheets up here. And what you need to do is go over here to tools and then pretty much click on script editor. And then once that loads up, we will be led over to essentially this code environment. So now we can go ahead and start coding. And this is super simple and short and basically so let's just call this YouTube scraper. And then inside of here, I'm just gonna say var, and then I'm gonna call this spreadsheet. You can name this whatever makes sense to you. And I'm gonna set this equal to, and they already have essentially pre-built functions that you can just basically, it'll pop up and suggest to you. So I'm gonna say spreadsheet app, and I'm just type SP is already there. So I'm just gonna press enter. And then you say dots, and then I'm gonna get the active. And if I see it, get active spreadsheet, and then double parentheses. And then we'll do another line, and I'm gonna say var active sheet equals to spreadsheet dot, and then I'm gonna say get active, and this one right here, get active sheet, and then there I'm gonna have the parentheses after it. And now I'm gonna just call this next uh, line of code var search. And then so this equal to YouTube. And right now, this doesn't make any sense. So what we have to do is you have to go to services, click this plus sign. And the one that I'm working with is, where is it? Down here, YouTube data API. It Depending on when you watch this, it might change the name, but it's basically the data API and then this name is really important. So this is by default YouTube. And basically I just click add. And this is the mistake that took me so long to figure out. It's a capital T. So if you don't put a capital T and you just do it like lowercase like me, you will run into errors and go crazy. So make sure you say YouTube or whatever you have this named as. And I'm gonna say dot and we're gonna look for search. And then I'm gonna say dot again. We're gonna go for list and then parentheses. Now inside of this, list we have to look for value so i'm gonna say snippets and then comma id and then outside of that i'm gonna do comma curly brace and then i'm gonna just say q colon and then i'm gonna say the keyword so in parentheses this is your keyword that you're gonna want to look up so if you want to say coding you type in coding you want to look up i don't know pizza you can do pizza you want to say pizza shop you want to space between it. I mean, just add whatever keyword you want here. Let's just say coding for now. And that's essentially the video topics you want to look up. Now you can read the API for more complex ways, but uh, this is like a basic example on how to do it. And then the max results, so I'm gonna say max and then capital R. So results like this, and then just set it to 50. Now what I want to do is actually log this to see if it actually is reading the coding keyword and showcasing something back. So the way you do it is you say logger dot log parentheses and then just pass in the value that you uh, named it. So we named this search. So basically search equals to this entire list. And I'll just hit run. 
and it said that it's using my function, but it was deleted. So it looks like it's trying to read the old my function. So let me do something really quick. All right, so I just click run again, and it's gonna ask you to review permission. So you just click on this, and essentially it's going to say use your account. So here's the one I have. And then you click on advance, because it's gonna say you can't do it. And then basically go to the untitled project unsafe, and then just allow this. And then now we're pretty much able to see the log. So now if I, I scroll up, we can see we have items in here. We got channel ID, publish time, the title. So basics of coding is one video and then thumbnails. And there's a lot of different things you can get. I just showed like basic title views, likes and dislikes, but you can see like all these values that we can pick from. And then we can go to, for instance, to see if I show like, basically if I can see, let me see if I can find another title in case, uh, I'm going to show you some other things. So like right here, another title. So here's another video you can see there. And at least you're seeing that it's actually reading that is for coding. So if I want to change this, for instance, to um, pizza, we'll run it. And it should show stuff related to pizza. So let's go to this first one here. Yeah, so the best homemade pizza you'll ever eat. Awesome. Okay, so cool. It's working. So let's just go here and delete this. And now what I want to do is say var, I'm going to say results equals to search dot items dot map. Now, if you follow coding, you know what this does, but if in case you're just trying to create this little spreadsheet for your own use case, you have no idea what coding is, then you can just follow along. But it's, it's something that I wouldn't want to explain to someone who's not studying coding. So just know that it's going to essentially go through these different values and display them for you. So here, I'm just gonna pass in a value. Now you can name this whatever you want to, like item one, two, three, pizza, one, two, three, it doesn't matter what you name this. I'm just gonna call this item. And I'm using arrow functions too. So that's just an easier way to write code without having to write out the entire function word and then the curly braces, etc. So here I'm gonna say arrow function. So it's just equal sign and then the uh, greater than symbol. And now we'll say these brackets. And this is essentially, they call it the array in code. And pretty much you just pass the value in the parentheses you just stated. So I'm gonna say item, cause it's matching here. So whatever you put here, you put it here. And then you say dot, and then you essentially target what you want to pick. So like for instance, I'll bring up the YouTube API and you can just Google YouTube API and just go, it's gonna most likely bring you to like this homepage here. Just go to reference and just click okay here. And I'm on the search option. So again, there's just a bunch of different things you can choose. I'm gonna go to overview. And here is essentially this data file, right? So if you worked with this, you know, but uh, in case you have no idea, it's just showing you how you can actually access these uh, values. So we use the, the value here in the parentheses called item. But what I want is for now, I want the video ID here and I want also the title right here. And then also I want the time it was published at. Now, if you want to get the rest of the stuff, feel free, but you can see here that the outermost uh, value that's in the curly braces is ID, e tag, kind, et cetera. But you see IDs here, but then there's another curly brace with more information inside of it. So what we have to do is we have to go target this section ID, and then we go inside of it to get the video ID. So I just simply do ID dot, you can see it gives me the option, so it knows, and I just want video ID. And then I want the additional option, so I'm gonna say comma here, I'll say item dot, and what I want for this one now, I'll skip this whole uh, information here, I want the snippet, and then I want to look for the published at, and then also the title. So pretty much I'll just say item dot snippet dot, and here we can just do title and then comma and I'll do item dot snippet dot published. Let's see if I can, this goes back away so you can see it and we'll just do published at. And then here I can pretty much just continue with the code and just call this one var IDs equals to results dot map and then I want to display these. So I'm going to say um, 
pass parentheses error function so id is the just value i called it and i'll just say id is going to look at the first position we just name that zero here and then outside the parentheses let's say dot join parentheses quotes comma and we're essentially joining them together and then here i just say var stats equals to youtube which again that's the um the api value we had and then here we can just say dot videos and then dot list parentheses and I'm just, this is the statistics so statistics and then comma and then we're gonna say curly brace i'm gonna look for id colon ids and then under here i'm gonna say var and this is essentially the um video stats you can call it here equals to stats the function we have above dot i'm gonna say items dot map and i'll just pass an item again you can pass in whatever value you want to call this error function here and then the array and then you say item dot statistics dot view count so view count comma and again if you wanted to look back on the api to see all these properties I mean, you can go on here and check them out. Like here, this shows you more details. And like, if you go to here to videos, let's go to overview here. You can see a lot of more information that if you wanted to potentially get into, like you can see here, duration, et cetera. And there's a lot of different things that you can check out on here in case you are interested in looking for those values. So just go back to search overview. And then you can also search stuff up. So like statistics. And let's just click on this one, like view count statistics. And then here you can see they have this option. So I'll just click onto it. And basically if I do command F statistics right here, and then you just get whatever values you want. So that's how I got the, uh, these values here. And then I'll just say item dot statistics dot like counts and then item dot statistics dot dislike counts and then under there we'll just simply say we're gonna go now and reference the active sheet above so it can display this information so I'll basically I'm just say active sheets dot get range parentheses I'm gonna say two comma one comma results dot length comma and then results array zero looking for the first option dot length and then outside this parentheses we're gonna say dot set values to equal results which is gonna display these values here and then under them say active sheet dot get range two comma three comma video stats dot length comma results bracket zero dot length and then outside I'm gonna say dot set values to video stats. So if we did not make any mistakes, we click on run. YouTube is not defined. So see I did this again. So if in case you're lucky you're watching this video I didn't make the T uppercase, which I literally said in the beginning. Still made the mistake, so good, I caught it here. And now it's completed. So now if we go to our empty sheets, you can see that it's filled out. And now you can see all the data here. So you can you know change this, say title, uh, views, likes, dislikes. And then pretty much uh, you can like, you know, color code obviously. So I usually what I did is went like this you know highlight the whole thing and then do the title and then the view same thing you get the point so this is super simple and basic and there's multiple ways to redo this so like if you want to check and just make sure it's working we'll say like code i'll run it again and then pretty much once it finishes it should show we have now code videos with the keyword code in it. And you know, obviously if you use Excel, you can you know organize this based off of like view, the higher views or lower number of views, etc. And there's multiple ways where you can like add a little fill out form to add uh, 
like a custom keyword and then just re refresh it through there. But again, this is just a simple way to get started. So if you want to see more videos like this or just follow along learning code together, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below any cool videos you want me to make. And like this video, share this with your friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.